Hey guys, it's Man Cake here, and we are finally at that time. Uh, this is my um, first official, um, I guess it'll be a TTC video. Um, I, was, I don't really call it TTC video. I'm not really a great trash talker. I'm, I mainly just want to talk about my team. But um, this, I guess, is an official TTC Reds video. Uh, this is a... Um, a um, Reds Phillies series preview. I'm going to do one of these videos before each series and one of these videos after each series. Um, this is going to be, like I said, Reds Phillies pre series. Of course, opening day, April 4th, Monday. That is this Monday, I believe. Um, 4th? Yeah, April 4th, this Monday. Um, um, be the Reds versus the Phillies, um, Great American Ballpark, uh, I believe it's 410, um, it'll be on Fox Sports Ohio, I'm sure it'll be uh, probably on ESPN, um, but obviously the announcement um, yesterday, I think they announced it yesterday, that Raciel Iglesias, Raciel Iglesias, I think that's how you call his name, will be pitching opening day, now I heard it's because of injury, like I said, um, um, all the reports I heard that um, that Descalfani was going to get the start. Um, I thought he was. Um, apparently, he got he he's, he has a injury. I don't think it's a, I don't think it's um, serious, but he has an injury, so he's, he will not be playing. Um, will not play pitching opening day. Um, it'll be uh, Ratio Iglesias against for the Reds versus. Um, if I get his name right, Jeremy Hillickson. No idea who that is. Um, like I said, this first series, this probably will be a long season for the Reds. Um, but this first series, these three games, are winnable because we are playing a team for the most part are in the same category we are, Philadelphia Phillies. Um, Philadelphia Phillies, I believe, had a worse record than we did last year, or we, we might have ended up a little worse. I'm not sure, but we were both horrible. Um, near 100 loss teams um philly um it probably isn't the best time to be a philly fan right now i mean you got the phillies you have the sixers and then you have the eagles um so yeah uh, not overall the season probably will be a long season for us but this i like this i like that we're starting out against a beatable team we're not playing the cardinals we're not playing the Cubs, we're not playing the Pirates, we're not playing the the Dodgers. We're playing the Phillies, a team that's beatable. And um and I've like I said, I I said before, I haven't watched a spring training game. I've seen I've listened to it on the radio, I've watched videos, like highlight videos on the MLB.com app. Um, there are aspects of this team, pieces of, the, of this team that I like. Um, we're obviously we're younger. Um, I think this team's still going to score runs. We have the Votto. We have the the Votto's, the Bruce's, the Phillips. We have bats still. Mezzarocco, if he's healthy. Uh, Kozar had a good year last year. Um, Kozar had a good good year last year before he got before he got hurt. Um, I think we have bats to score, and I think we have good starting pitching. Um, I've heard good things about Finnegan. He's had a good spring. I mean, I like um, Lorenzen. Lorenzen's also uh, has a little bit of a nagging injury. Hopefully, he gets back because I like him. Like I said, I like Iglesias. Um, it is exciting. Um, we have Alfredo Simon, who struggled last year, but Alfredo pitched really good a couple years ago. Um, I like him as like a almost like a veteran, which is kind of weird to say because it wasn't too long he was considered a young pitcher. Now he's a veteran, but. Um, I like the starting pitching. Um, I think a lot of people outside of Reds country don't, don't like the starting pitching. But I think if you follow this team and watch, there are exciting aspects of the starting pitching. Our weakness this year is going to be our bullpen. Uh, we got Hoover as a closer, which Hoover has had a really up and down Reds career. He's at times been our best reliever. But ironically, he when he when Hoover is bad, he is so bad that it overshadows when he does good. So the fan base and everyone um, watching Red the Reds 
don't even notice when he does good. These last two seasons, we've kind of been out of a contention. He's had really good end end endings to the season, but no one has noticed it. No one has noticed it because everyone's just lost interest. Um, I think he can be. I think he has done bad, not that well um, under pressure, which kind of deems it kind of bad when you're talking about a closer. But he has. Really good. He a, he's really good fastball, and he has a. Um, I think he has a curveball, or he has an all-speed pitch. It's really good, and I think when you're a closer, I think it simplifies everything. And I think one innings and one inning spurts, I think he can be really good. Like I said, it may, environmental may be a mute point. We might not have that many saving opportunities. They might have to give get him in the game. The problem is Hoover is a guy that you want to play. Yes, he's a closer, but if you go into a stretch where you don't win any games and there's no closing situations, you don't want Hoover to sit on the bench because he's a young, he's in a, he's a pitcher in his prime. So they might have to just put him in games that we're losing anyway, just because there may be spurts where there is no safe situation. Um, um, I'm going to go through the pitching matchups. Now, I'm not sure two and three if they're final. Um... There was a TB, um, TBA on these pitchers, but today there's now a pitcher on, when you pull up the game, it actually says the pitcher. So um, I'm guessing this is going to be it. Uh, game two, the Reds will, will send um, Brandon Finnegan to the mound. Um, like I said, I, I haven't seen him pitch. I think they got him. I want to say they got him in a trade last year. Um, so I haven't seen him either. He, he's um, very young. Um, oh, he was drafted. Okay, we got him from the Royals. Uh, he was drafted in 2014 draft. First round draft pick in the 2014 draft. Um, and right now he's our number two starter. <laughs> 2014 draft pick. Um, our, our number two starter. So, I mean, I, I've not, I've not seen him pitch. I think if he played last year, it was at the end of the season and I kind of got into obviously football coaching. So I got busy and I did not track it, but I, I've, I've heard he's had a really good spring, obviously, cause he's number two starter. Um, he will be facing, um, I think another young, youngster, Aaron Nola, like I said, the Phillies this year, I used to know, I used to know a lot of the Phillies. I think um, ha Howard is still there, first baseman. But they, I mean, Rollins is with the White Sox now. Um, they lost a lot of, uh, they don't have um, the pitchers they had. Uh, Cole Hamels is gone. Um, so, yeah, it's definitely the all new. Like I said, Finnegan, Nola, uh, seeing how... Noel's also, these are both of these guys are 22. They were both in the 2014 draft. So these are new, both in game two. This is book two. Um, this will be played on um, Wednesday. The Reds will play Monday, off Tuesday, play Wednesday. These This, this is a matchup between two, I believe, rookie pitchers. So it should be exciting. I mean, I one thing about this season, I am excited to see the new names, the new talent coming up, and hopefully that'll get me through the season to enjoy it. Um, and then, yeah, game three, there is no announcement for the pitching. The uh, game three will be on Thursday. Yeah, Thursday. That'll be the 1235, probably business day special. So I'm not sure about Thursday. Um, they could probably, I think they were talking about, they could go Simon. They could go... Um, I heard Lorenzen might be able to. I don't know how bad the Lorenzen injury is, so it'll be interesting to see who will pitch game three. Um, but like I said, these are two good, these are two young, um, you could say young rebuilding teams. So if anything else, it's even. So it's evenly matched. So I think the Reds can win this game. I think if we can win this series, I think it'll give us something positive. I think a lot of Reds fans are dreading this season. Like, uh, here we go. Although they might be a little excited about the new players, um, I think if Finnegan gets a win, 
I think the fact that his first start of the season isn't against like the Cardinals or the, like I said, the Cardinals Dodgers, like one of the main like a veteran team. Um, like I remember one time they would get like Leak versus Clayton Kershaw. I'm like, really? <laughs> But he's facing another rookie pitcher, so I think he had to get his feet wet. I think if Finnegan can win game two, I think that'll be huge. Um, Iglesias, um, obviously he's had a good spring because he's the opening day starter. Um, I saw some video of his last two starts. It was just a montage that the that they put on the MLB app um, of his pitching. He looked good. He looked to have he looked like to have good um, uh, movement on his pitches. Um, I know he got injured at the end of last year. He was he played decently last year. I remember he had a good couple starts against the Cardinals. He hung in there and pitched well. So I'm excited. Hopefully we can win opening day, win these first two games, and make game three kind of a – kind of a – I mean, if we can sweep them, that's great. But I think we, I think there's no reason to think we can't win these two games. Because I, what I've seen from the Phillies, like I haven't followed the Phillies, but they don't – I don't know who they have – um, because I know they lost a lot, a lot of their position players. They lost a lot of their offense, a lot of position players. Um, I know they've lost a lot. They've they've kind of shipped out a lot of their old players, and they're a lot a lot younger, like we are. But we still have Votto, Bruce, Phillips, Masaraka. We still have bats, proven bats, in our lineup, and I think that's what se separates us from the Phillies. Um, like I said, it's hard to not be because I mean I don't I follow the Reds. I don't follow the Phillies, but I would think to think most people know who Brandon Phillips is, um, Votto. Um, Philip uh, Mezzarocco, we have proven. Yeah, see, I'm scrolling down there. I'm scrolling down their offensive like roster. Freddie Galvis, Tyler Grudel, Amar Gomez. The players that are showing up on here. I have not recognized one name on this roster. So it seems to me that the Phillies are really going young. Like, really going young. Like, they got rid of almost every known name. We still have Votto, Bruce Phillips, Mezzarocco, uh, Eugenio Suarez should have a really good year this year. I think our offense separates us from the Phillies in this series. Um, I, I really do, because I think we both have good good young pitching. I mean, we have good young pitching, and I trust that their pitchers right now, they may be young, the Phillies. I don't know who they are, but I'm sure they're good. They're not the guy starting game one and game two of the season. He may not be starting if he was with another team, but I, I trust that he's good, or else he wouldn't be starting on, on game one or two. So I kind of put us even at the pitching. Even if you put us even at the pitching, I think our offense. We have we have pieces on offense that the Phillies do not. So I think we – I don't want to say sweep. I'll say we win two out of three. Win game one, game two, lose game three. Maybe, yeah. It will, if we lose one, it'll be game three because I don't know who's pitching. So that's my prediction for this series. Um, like I said, I'm excited. Uh, I'll be interested to see what happens. I'm excited for some baseball. Um, I'm excited this year. I don't have cable – but I think the MLB agreed to stream Reds games locally on the Fox Sports Go app, which I have my parents and my grandparents log in for cable. And I've been using that for like ESPN, um, ESPN, watch ESPN, stuff like that. Um, I, so I'm, I, I'm psyched I should be able to watch Reds games on my phone this year at home or anywhere there's Wi-Fi. Um, so I'm excited. Um, although I think the opening day is on on uh, normal cable, so we should be able to watch it on Fox, so, pretty excited, um, but yeah, hopefully win two out of three, um, if you like this video, be sure to hit the like button, and subscribe, um, I will, like I said, be doing a, uh, a, um, a video after this series, 
after the Reds and Phillies series ends, I will be doing a post series review recap video. And then who do we play? We play Philly and then we go to Pittsburgh. Or no, we're home against the Pirates. Friday, Saturday, Sunday versus the Pittsburgh Pirates at home at Great American Ballpark. It should be fun. Another challenge for the first division um, division challenge of the year. So it should be good. Um, but yeah, I guess that's it. Go Reds. And see you guys next time. Bye.